The Brown Derby was a series of restaurants in Los Angeles, California that was first opened in 1926. Its name came from the restaurant being shaped like a man's derby hat. The chain was started by Robert H. Cobb and Herbert K. Saborn. In 1936, a larger building was constructed at the corner of Alexandria Avenue, and is home to hundreds of celebrity drawings and paintings. This was the branch that played the greater role in Hollywood history due to its location to the studios. It became a place to do business deals and be seen by aspiring actresses and actors. In June 2004, Hillhurst lost Files LLC purchased the Derby with the intention to demolish and replace its existence with a condominium complex. But due to an independent coalition called Save the Derby, on May 19, 2006, the Los Angeles City Council voted to designate the building as an official historic cultural monument of the city of Los Angeles. Today, you can visit the only Brown Derby left in operation at Disney's Hollywood Studios, where they are famous for their grapefruit cake. Let's recreate it at home. Welcome to Remy's Apprentice, where we believe anyone can cook. For over 20 years, I've been dining at the Walt Disney World Resort and bringing the flavors of magic back to my own kitchen. Let me share some of these recipes with you. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Remy's Apprentice. Please, at the end of the video, like, subscribe, and leave a shout out for what you want to see next. Today is a little bit different due to Tropical Storm Fred making some noise outside, but we're going to get this cake done before we have any complications with the power. And I know what you're thinking. This guy wears button-ups even when he's at home during a tropical storm? Yes. Yes, I do. Can we get off my fashion mistakes and back to the cake now? Thank you. I want to get this party started with three eggs, one fourth cup water, one fourth teaspoon cream of tartar, one fourth cup vegetable oil, three tablespoons grapefruit juice, half teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoons baking powder, three fourth cup sugar, one and a half cups cake flour, half teaspoon grated lemon rind. Excluding your cream of tartar, combine and mix all dry ingredients together and sift. And now it's time to separate our three eggs. In a small mixing bowl, add water, oil, egg yolks, grapefruit juice, and lemon rind, and mix until smooth. Mix your egg whites and cream of tartar until they become stiff. Mix your flour and your egg yolk mix, and then begin to fold in your egg white peaks. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a professional cake designer, so I'm not going to attempt the pretty four-layer design that the Brown Derby does. I'm going to weigh my batter to get the most even layers possible. This mixture should come out to a little over 20 ounces, so 10 ounces per pan should suffice. Oh yeah, lining your pans with parchment paper is optional. Alright, now that we got our pans done, let's go ahead and put this in a 350 degree oven for 16 minutes. When your 16 minutes is complete, remove both layers from the oven, placing them on a cooling rack. Just to make sure that the consistency is right, whenever you push in, it should spring back. Alright guys, now it's time for our frosting. Let's get to it. 1 teaspoon grated lemon rind. 3 fourth cup powdered sugar. 2 tablespoons grapefruit juice. 2 teaspoons lemon juice. 1 fourth teaspoon yellow food coloring gel. And don't forget, 2 grapefruit. And 16 ounces for cream cheese. Man, this is a lot of ingredients for frosting. There you go. We're going to go ahead and start by fluffing our cream cheese. Once our cream cheese is smooth, go ahead and start adding in all of our ingredients, but waiting to use our powdered sugar till last. Once our icing becomes smooth, add in your food coloring. Once it becomes smooth with food coloring, you should have something that looks like this. One more thing I forgot to mention, we want to slice our grapefruit and drain the life out of each piece for the filling. Alright guys, here we go. I don't know if there's a proper way of doing this, but this is how I'm doing it.
Alright guys, we're going to make a glaze for this cake. This is not part of the recipe, this is something that I made up. So you're going to want to start with one cup of that fresh squeezed grapefruit, two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice, half cup of sugar. Bring your grapefruit juice and your lemon juice to a boil before adding in your sugar. Simmer this for about five minutes before adding it to some sort of bowl to cover with and placing it in the refrigerator for three hours. Here's something a little extra for you. I wanted to feel like a 1960s director who would actually be going to the Brown Derby. So we're gonna make a grapefruit old fashioned. Start by smoking your glass with some sort of hickory or mesquite. Peel a little bit of your grapefruit rind. Go ahead and add an ice cube and your grapefruit glaze and two ounces of your favorite bourbon. Twist your rind and leave residue on the edge of the glass. And don't forget the bourbon marinated cherry. Oh yeah, what were we doing again? Oh, oh yeah, 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 the cake. Almost forgot. Yeah, you're right, not too shabby for someone that doesn't really know how to decorate a cake. Now it's time to put on our glaze. Now, you should put this on individual pieces, but my wife suggested just put it on the whole cake. So, that's what I did. Alright guys, and there you have it. There's the grapefruit cake from the Brown Derby at Hollywood Studios. I will say do not get the canned grapefruit. Stick with all the fresh ingredients the entire time. Uh, and yes, this did turn out amazing. I'm not even a fan of grapefruit and I love this cake. So until next time on Remy's Apprentice, cheers. Mm -hmm.